So viewers, we've uh, come to the sort of end of our time on the Isle of Wight. I've had to hand the mini back. Um, so my lady wife and I just, just decided to go over to Haven Street, uh, which is um, on the Isle of Wight steam railway. But our train's not for another half an hour or so. And there's some interesting tasty morsels in the car park. So we're just going to have a look around. Um, so this is car spotting on the Isle of Wight. Since we've been on a mini adventure, it seems very appropriate to look at this 1983 to 1984 mini city. It's been painted Hammerite, I think. When I was a lot younger, I actually used to travel in a car that was very, very similar to this. It was actually a Mayfair, of an early Mayfair. Actually, I've just noticed by that tax disc, it'll be in 84. Um, and it was, yeah, it was black like this. It wasn't Hammerite painted. Someone's fitted a sort of slightly sort of more at market interior, but sort of kept the original feel of it by using the sort of houndstooth fabric on it. Uh, but that looks like a lot of fun. There we go. We've got... It's a reproduction sticker on there um, from Whites of Camberley and the plate's a Guildford one so that would make sense. So Daimler SP250 or Daimler Dart as some people call them. They made these I think from 1959 to 1964. Production kind of stopped uh, prematurely I suppose because they didn't really want something competing against the, uh, the E-Type. And also glass fiber body... Uh, Daimler's own engine in these, a V8, um, probably a bit sort of costly to build, I would imagine. Looks like there's been sort of a, a, a tour going on, Country Lane Tour, South Coast Isle of Wight. And here is uh, either a Bentley Mark VI or an R-Type, but later ones of these are, um, are R-Type. This is a 51, it, it says there, so I imagine this will be a uh, Mark VI. This is the standard steel saloon version. I have actually driven a Mark VI, but it wasn't with this body. It was a Mark VI Special. We actually tried to drive it on the day of my wedding, as I've said in um, earlier videos. But that's what a standard one looks like. 1967 to 68, minor thousand. Uh, this is the sort of final type of these. Straight away, we can see the post-October 64 interior with the... Um, Later steering wheel and then just the one side uh, glove box and there's a combined ignition switch and uh, a starter. It's in very nice condition this. I don't know if this is a, a conversion or original Tory. If this is an original Tory they're worth a lot of money. I forget the name of this colour but there are loads of very similar colours to this. This might be smoke grey actually although it is blue which is very confusing bit of an earlier Minotaur here, you can see we've actually got wipers that meet in the middle, so it'll be uh, sort of before 1962 if it's that. So this will be a minor thousand as well, but this will probably be the 948cc. So you can see the rear lights are different as well. So it was, I'd say after 56 um, and uh, before about 62, the traffic heads have been removed, so that actually might be just a 61, 62. So there's the, do you have a rear end of that one? Right, let's uh, go further down that way and see what else we can find. Ooh, viewers. 1973 to 74, Lotus Elan. Ignore what it says on there, 78. This is uh, an Elan Plus 2, but it says S130. I presume that's some special model but I think the, the last year for these was 1974 so um, quite a late one for one of these and uh, plus two was actually used in some very early episodes of the final season of the Avengers not necessarily in transmission order but in production order they actually had one of these that they uh, gave to Linda Forson. Isle of White plate on, uh, on this one Mark 5 Fiesta gear, uh, 2001 to 2. Typical rear arch corrosion, but like a lot of cars um, on the island, it's lasted a lot longer than it would have done on the mainland for some reason. I think it's due to the fact that a lot of people who live on the island don't drive the cars very much if there's not too far to go. 
Ooh, I'm not sure we're going through the next MOT like that, viewers. Um, and also, a lot of people are a little bit older and may retire to come here, uh, which I can totally understand having spent a couple of days here. So, uh, again, that, that keeps the mileage a little bit lower. Right, let's uh, go down here. Ooh. Let's take a look at this early Jaguar XK8. Um, this is the second generation of them from 2006. Haven't quite got a base level interior, but we're not too far off. I mean, this is uh, this is nice view. Is this uh, sports car here? And it is an Austin Seven with starting handle. Can't remember the type um, Austin Seven this is called. Uh, but next to it, <laughs> oh, viewers, look at this: 2001 to two Toyota Camry. And it's got a beige leather interior and wood. I do like a nice beige leather interior, as uh, you probably know by now. Lloyd Vehicle Consulting stickers, t shirts, and mugs are available by clicking the link to the Google form in the video description below. I might say Morris Minor Owners Club in the window, but this is not a Morris at all. It's actually a Jowett Javelin. I think the last year for these was 1953. They were a very advanced car for their time. Um, I think the engine was entirely Jowett's own work. Uh, built up, I think, in, a, in Bradford or somewhere near there. Um, they're very rare now. For unfortunately, the uh, production of this and the related car which was the Jowett Jupiter forced the company to go under which is a real shame got a I think late 30s or early 40s Buick here I don't know much about these to be honest I don't know anything about these it is dark green though and that looks suspiciously like a beige interior but that could be vinyl so I'm going to be cautious about that but beautiful car nevertheless this Morgan, I'm not sure how old this is. It'll be after 2005, but given that personal plate, I would assume that that's actually um, fair, actually not the year of the car. I think it's a bit later. Hasn't even got the uh, model designation on there. That's interesting. Oh, viewers. Very, very late Jaguar XJS convertible in dark green with a beige leather interior and wood and I do like a nice beige leather interior viewers this is the sort of thing that we like very very much uh, so it's just the 4 litre, it's not the V12 uh, personally I probably have a 4 litre myself, they're a little bit easier to service and um, the running costs are a little bit low, let's take a level look at that interior mmm Yes, please. I think there are some other XJSs here as well, so we'll uh, keep going. Another Morgan here again. No model designation on the badge. I don't think it is 92-93. That looks like a personal play, particularly as you've got like a hard oh, brake light. Oh, it's a plus four. Okay, there we go. And a very nice base from interior. This might have the Ford um, uh, Sigma engine in it, actually, so it'd be a 1.6. That gearbox looks very familiar. The handbrake is in a very odd position. I like that, viewers, but mm, even more beige leather interior action. An X350 Jaguar XJ. Mm. Yes! J gate beige leather interior and wood, possibly an excellent combination in every way. I don't know uh, what model this is. It's, I don't think it's a sport because I would have had less chrome. Um, not sure. Wow, viewers! Not only do we have a very late Series One Rover P6, it's an S Tora. I think these were made by a company called Panel Craft of Battersea. Uh, they weren't uh, standard by any means. They are a little bit difficult to sort of get right in terms of, you know, the panel fit and things. But I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. 
I'm not actually sure what engine this is. Oh, it's a V8. Okay, it's just on the front. That's handy, isn't it? Yeah, 669.70. Quite a early for a V8. Um, that is really, really special. There's not an awful lot of those uh, left now. Light scimitar. Quite a bright colour. I think this will be an Essex engine one. 71 to 72 registration. And no, as usual, I'm not going to say what everyone else says. That is actually banned on the internet. You're not allowed to make that connection. So I won't. Yellow or green, you decide. I don't actually know, viewers. Um, comment section below. Please tell me what colour this car is. Because it, for once, this actually looks pretty much the same on camera as it does um, in real life. Although it probably looks more yellow on camera than I can see. But that's just my opinion. Ooh, very nice try. That's a beautiful colour actually. Sort of mauvey colour. Fortunately I know on these TRs that it will tell me what model this is. It's a TR3. So it'd be about not 59, 60, something like that, before they brought in the TR3A. I think it was also a TR3B. Um, maybe it's a little bit earlier than 59. Typical Isle of Wight car base spec Skoda Fabia from 2001. Local plate, of course. Um, there's the de original dealer sticker. Wonderful. Again, Isle of Wight registration. 1998 Daihatsu Hijet. It was the last time we saw one of these. I don't think I've seen one of these in ages. A friend of mine used to have one about 20 years ago. But yeah, that is... Uh, it's pretty special, actually. Oh, viewers, we have a real treat. Two out of two Jaguar XJSs, both really late ones, 95, 96 registrations. Had a dark green one with beige leather interior, and now we've got a dark blue one. That's probably a cream interior, but I'm going to claim that as a beige one because we like saying beige leather interiors. Very, very nice view. Different alloy wheels for the other one. Um, again, a four litre. Oh, exquisite. Oh, viewers, this just gets better. The successor car, TV XJS. Um, this is an XK8. I don't know what year this is. I imagine about 2000, maybe. And <laughs> look, <laughs> more cream stroke, beige leather. Got more wood. J Gate. All kinds of excitement. Very, very nice indeed. And look here, we've got another Jaguar XJS. Sort of return of the same colour, although it's a much later car than the early pre-production one that was a main car used in that series. Um, that was a 75. This is uh, 89 to 90. It's a sort of uh, before that facelift occurred, so it still have a little bar for XJS, which it does. But oh, we still like that very much over years, don't we? Mm. Fortunately, viewers, I can't tell whether this Rover 75 is the forbidden fuel one or not. And um, when it's a really dirty, I can't see the rev counter. But this, yes. Rover P6, very late one. It's a 3500, I think it'll be an auto. Yes, it is. Uh, 75, 76. So I think we finished in 77, so quite a late one. And of course, I've only driven the um, four-cylinder one of these. It was an auto. I haven't driven a V8 one. I would actually quite like to do that. It'd be, uh, it'd be nice. Let's go further in so we can see. So it's got a cloth interior. Um, it's not the most expensive version, but it's very nice anyway. So that's it, viewers. It's time to uh, enjoy the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and leave a comment below. And we'll see you again soon for more self-indulgent videos.